using Canva to make a workbook. So let me X that off. If you don't have a Canva account, you just need to go to canva.com to create an account. It's pretty simple. Um, very easy, and this is the free version. It doesn't cost you anything. Now, the first workbook that we are going to make would be what I would call a um, the free downloadable workbook that you may have associated with your book or is a workbook that you're offering off of your website. And so you want um, it to be like the size of a letter, eight and a half by 11, that they would print from their computer. So I'm clicking in Canva. There is a US letter template. Now we're not gonna use very many elements from some of these pre-done templates that we have. It brings up a blank, blank canvas. But I can tell you that they've got some, a couple of letters that have some nice frames that would look pretty um, depending on the style of, um, depending on the style of workbook that you would wanna do. Uh, Nah, let's see. I don't like that one because here's the deal. I'm doing a workbook that I want people to print out. And if there's too much ink, too much color, most people aren't going to print out a workbook because they're, it's going to use a lot of ink. So I try to keep things kind of small. Okay. So I don't really like that one. I've decided I don't want to do that. Whoops. Wheel. All right, we'll do this. As you can see, <laughs> this isn't how I plan that, that to work, but you can go through all of these elements and you can erase them if you don't wanna use them. That's the neat thing about this. Not only can you type in them, but you can just totally erase them. And let's see, I don't like that color. <laughs> so I'm gonna delete that color. And now we have more elements to delete. If you haven't done a lot of deleting off Canva, just be sure and have your cursor close to those, to the circles where you're, where you can, that's, that's sizing, that's to do sizing. Uh, I didn't plan on this to happen like this. But I'm going to roll with it because I've got a brief amount of time to whip this video out for y'all. All right. This right up here is the particular, whoops, one I kind of like right now. I like this simple frame right here. You know, it doesn't use a lot of ink, it's thin lines, and you can change the color on it. That's the neat thing. And so now that we know how to erase all the elements. <laughs> so I'm gonna erase the elements that we don't want. We're gonna start from scratch. The whole thing I'm really wanting out of this is the framework. Now, you know, I like the frame. You might have a particular need for something. You might like um, the particular font on something and you can keep it, you know, just for the font. Like for instance, um, maybe you know let's shake it up a little bit yeah i like this frame and this would be a really neat way to do I've, I've just recently done a couple of blank uh or just with lines just typing in lines and actually i can click the page back here and i could change that page to a white background so i've got you know i've got a simple workbook page with a beautiful frame I could add some text down here and put my name, copyright, and the name of the book. And even if you did nothing but just provide them with that, you know, you could have, you know, a very simple workbook page. But let's jazz it up a little bit. Maybe we want to ask some questions and we want them to have some space to fill things out. So, first of all, let me show you that you can 
see, you can type in here, and you have to, all the copyright symbols right now that are on Canva, you have to buy, and I'll show you how you can search that if you've never used it before. You can search for a particular something, and it'll throw up free and uh, ones that you have to buy. Now, let's say I really, it's really, really important to me that this workbook has got some very um, profound things in it that you've not really seen in any other workbooks and you don't want, you know, anybody to take your ideas and you really, really want to protect yourself. So if you do, if you want to do that, you can press one of these and put it on your, you know, put it in your workbook and use the copyright symbol. Now you'll have to pay a dollar when it comes time to download. It won't let you download since we're using the free version. And even if we were using the paid version, you would have to pay for that. But I've never even looked at this, but remember we've got open clip art is a free source for um, clip art symbols and clip art stuff. Now my internet's been kind of cranky and slow and since I'm also oh man I don't know if it's going to come up or not well okay I'll come back once it comes back up there so copyright and let's say I'm making up you know I've got this book called the heart of healthy eating And it's about having the right type of heart in order to have a successful eating style. That is not a book I'm writing. If anybody wants to take that title and run with it, I give you open. Okay, here we go. There's the clip art. So let's say it's really important to me because I've got some really, what I feel like is profound things Let's see if open clip art has a free copyright symbol. And they do. They have a very simple C copyright. So I can go to that copyright symbol. Open clip art, it's free to use anything in there um, for your creations. Okay, so I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and do a big image because I just tend to always do the big image and then shrink things down. So I've downloaded a copyright symbol and because I, I want to use it. So I'm going to go over here to my uploads and upload uh, that copyright symbol. Now it's going to work on it for a little bit. That part went for, okay, it's a coming. So now it's, I've got a copyright symbol, whoa, that I can use. I'm gonna just shrink it down. And instead of the words copyright, now you might say, Kim, can you really see that? No, I'm kind of guessing. I'm gonna zoom that out. So you can, you can zoom things. And so I'm gonna zoom that and then I'm gonna give some space and I'm going to even make that copyright symbol smaller and I'm going to bring it over here. And okay, so now I've got copyright 2017 and I don't even know if that's exactly in the right position where it should be, but this is just for the heart of healthy eating and sorry, they don't know that I'm busy right now. And because this, my book is The Heart of Healthy Eating, I've actually decided on it, and, and I haven't really decided on it. I'm just pretending. I don't want it blue. Let's say I, I want my frame to be consistent with my branding for this book, and my book has green in it. But my book has a different color green. Okay, so here's how you can get to the color green. If you know your color code number, the hex number, you can you can put that number in here 
And if you don't know what it is, then you can slide around and guess and try to get the color that, and if you can't see what's going on right now, is that color is changing. As I'm drawing, as I'm pulling this around, that color is changing, okay? And my color for this book is kind of like a pale olive color, okay? Now, because I might use that color some more for these pages and I don't want to have to slide everything around, I'm going to jot down that number so that I have it. So my color pages are C, D, B, 9, 2. Now I can go in and type that in later if I do if I do anything else that needs the color and that way I keep my branding the same. Okay. So I've got my workbook page. I know that I want some sections for people to write in. Um, so you've got two options. You can just do lines. That's totally cool. Maybe you know that you're going to have three sections. Whoa. When it's centered, I'm going to have three sections and I want lines. Now you can do each section, you can do each line, whoops, each line of lines. Whoa, hold on a minute. Wrong thing. You can do each line separately by itself and copy, or you can do, you can just do the old fashioned hold down and get them across there. And so I'm doing the old fashioned hold down and I'm going to do four lines a piece. And you might say, Kim, I really want, pe I want more lines. I want, I want them to be able to write a lot. Well, that's great. If your ideal client, you know that they are very wordy and they want to write a lot, then you can add more lines. You can also change your spacing and make it, you know, a little bit more narrower. Like if you did, 0.5, but I like to use a little bit more space, okay? I like to give a lot of space. So let's say it's, um, I have, I can't think of any questions. Let's see. What do you, whoa, let's get to a smaller type. I don't want to use that much, but, and I don't want to use a thick. Let's, what do you want your body to, be like in 90 days? That's nothing profound, but anyway. Now, what I want to show you though, is that these lines that come up that help me center, okay? There's if I want the title centered in the page. Can you see that center purple line, that grid line that came up? But maybe I want it to just line up where the, where the lines start. And I'm gonna change my justification over here to left justify, okay? Now I wanna, let's say, I wanna jazz it up for the next one. I, you know, I don't want it to just be a whole page of lines. Well, you can use elements and you can use shapes. And there's a square shape that's just a plain square. And you might say, Kim, that's awful, that's black. I don't want that. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can change the colors. But first I wanna show you the difference. There's also a square shape, but it's rounded at the corners. I kind of particularly like that rounded corner. So I'm gonna highlight that box. I'm gonna click that box so that it highlights and then I'm going to press my little trash can and delete it. You can also press your delete key. So my next question, I want it to be a box and I want it to be kind of like my color. Now thankfully Canva remembers what color I made this document. It, it remembers the colors that you do, your document colors. But now remember what I said, I didn't want it to use a lot of ink. You can use transparency and change, change it to where it's faded. 
So now if I use my transparency, change it to where it's faded, stretch it just a skosh, okay? And now copy those lines. I can fit them in my box and I'm gonna copy those lines again and put them in here in my box. Now, I know that I want more lines to fill up, so I'm just going to add some more. I could do another text box individually, but I'm just going to take the easy way. That's the whole thing that I like this can before, is it just helps me do some things easier with my skill set that I have right now. So what do you want your heart to be like in 90 days? And um, I don't know, I don't know what the possible next question could be, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy <laughs> and let's say there is another question right here that they're filling in that they answer and then we've got enough room to maybe put a third question on this page and we're going to copy those lines and move them down here. And so now, now we've got three sections here on this first page. The only thing that I would suggest that needs to be added is you're gonna be putting this together as a PDF booklet. So depending on which way you're going to do it, you may want to go ahead and put a page number on here because there is a free way that you can merge pages into a PDF. And I'll show you all that in another lesson. All right, so there's page one. I don't like that sitting there. It looks like it's floating. I'd rather just put it down here. Okay. So now that we've got it, we've got page one of, of the workbook. And that's what I'm going to title it. Let's see. Workbook page one. And it was the heart of healthy eating. I don't want to type it all. I'm just going to use the letters. Done. Download. It's going to be a PDF. Then you can also do it as an image so that you can copy it into your um, word processing document so that it's an image. So if you do that, do it as a JPG or a ping, either one, and download it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that's just a very simple workbook page. All right, we'll move on to lesson two.